I love having a business on 4th Avenue because it's very dynamic, it's always changing. Uh, a lot of pedestrians, an eclectic crowd, uh, it's exciting, it makes me feel like I'm in a real a big city, um, yet I get to go out to the desert, it's you know, 10, 15 minutes away, um, so I love 4th Avenue. 4th Avenue, Main Gate Square in downtown, three popular destinations with one thing in common. How do you keep loyal customers coming back with streetcar construction underway? Getting discouraged people to come to 4th Avenue has been uh, a tough task, but uh, when you really, when you actually come here, you realize it's not that difficult. To help these businesses keep their customers, some loyal patrons took matters into their own hands. I live on the west side of Stone, and I was riding my bike, and it didn't even occur to me that you couldn't get across 4th Avenue because the fences were up. And I realized I live here, and if I didn't even think about how to get across 4th Avenue, lots of other people would be inconvenienced and find it difficult to get around. And then I thought about all of the businesses that are along here that were going to lose business, and I didn't want that to happen. With that, Karen Green went home, gathered like-minded friends, and using Facebook, created a solution. On the Mind Our Own Businesses Facebook page, you can get all kinds of information. You can find out about events that we are holding. You can find out about how to park, where to park, where to get around. You can find out about businesses and events that they are happening, having. And you can also find out about uh, sales and take pictures yourself, post things yourself on that site. The creators of Mind Our Own Businesses enjoy coming up with shopping activities and events that bring people together to have fun like this family night spelling bee held at Skybar. Uh, position, P-H-Y-S-I-C-I-A-N, position. In the first six weeks, over 500 people discovered the Facebook page and have contributed to the financial support of the impacted businesses. Businesses on 4th Avenue really appreciate all the help we've gotten from outside sources, including the city, 4th uh, Avenue Merchants Association, and organizations such as Mind Your Own Businesses. Uh, they've done a great job of getting people excited to come down to 4th Avenue during the construction, and I couldn't be more appreciative of that. In the first six weeks, over 500 people discovered the Facebook page and have contributed to the financial support of the impacted businesses. I'm interested in seeing these businesses thrive because I want them to survive this, this difficult time. Um, if we lose these businesses and they're replaced by national chains, we just lost our souls. I love the small stores. I love the local flavor. I want that to continue after the streetcar, during the construction, the rest of the time that I am alive in Tucson.